Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are back with an exciting video, okay? It was highly requested. I told you guys on my last haul, which was the Anastasia Beverly Hills haul, if you haven't checked it out, click right here and go check it out, um, that I wanted to do a video dedicated on blog sales because I love to shop on blog sales. And a lot of you guys really wanted to see something like that because trust me, it is a lifesaver and a money saver. We all up on YouTube are makeup addicts and we love our makeup. We would love to try every single high-end makeup we can, but let's face it, they are extremely expensive. So, you know, half the times I'm on a budget myself, but I have worked around that budget and found a way to still pick up some high-end luxurious makeup for half the price that it retails in the store, and that's all through blog sales. I love me a good makeup blog sale. <laughs> so for those of you who do not know what a blog sale is, it's basically a website or a blog site, an Instagram page, a Facebook page, basically anything on the internet that someone has created to sell gently used or new items, okay? And it doesn't have to be exclusive to makeup. There are people who sell clothing, accessories, things like that but I normally just tend to search for makeup blog sales. A lot of people are very iffy about buying used makeup, but from my point of view as a makeup artist, I don't see it as a nasty thing or iffy about it because you have to understand, I have a freelance makeup kit. All of the makeup in my freelance kit has been on so many different faces. Okay, so everything in my makeup kit is used and it's been used on multiple people. I just know how to take care of my products and I know how to sanitize my products. So I am not like scared to buy makeup off of blog sales because I just receive the product, sanitize it, and I'm good to go. Now there are certain items that you really don't want to buy off of blog sales because it's impossible to sanitize them. Example, a mascara. You really cannot sanitize a mascara. It's a wand and a tube. The product is inside the tube. It's very easy to get bacteria into the mascara because of the way it works when you uh, dip the wand into the tube and out. It can get air bubbles very easily in there and that can create bacteria and mold and stuff like that. That's why it, they advise you to throw out your mascara after about three months, max four months. And that's why I do not have a lot of high-end mascaras because girl you can't keep them for a long time like an eyeshadow palette so I normally don't buy things that I know I can't sanitize myself unless it is brand new because sometimes you will have blog sales of items that are brand new maybe people who work in department stores and get them for free as gratis or whatnot they will sell them brand new a lot of people do that or they have a discount at the location that they work at they buy it for cheaper and then sell it a little bit and get some profit off it I've seen that happen numerous times and I'm cool with that because hey I ain't paying tax and I'm paying less than retail price so you know I'm not complaining now when it comes to powder products I'm talking about your blushes your bronzers your highlighters your eyeshadow palettes those I will definitely be all up on that, okay? You you don't understand. I can get like a, a, a eyeshadow palette that is high-end at fraction of the cost. And it is so easy to sanitize an eyeshadow palette. Literally, all you need is rubbing alcohol. You want to spray down your product with some rubbing al alcohol and let it sit there and let it just air dry it will sanitize the product if you're very very cautious extra extra cautious you can scrape the first layer off and then go ahead and spray it down and you are good to go i will list down below in the description box just a little bit more details on products that i don't purchase and why to find a blog sale it's very easy you can go on google and write uh, makeup or cosmetic blog sale beauty blog sale 
2015 so make sure you're putting the year there because if you just put blog sale it can give you blog sales that were put on the internet from like 2009 and people still have those pages up you can also go on Facebook there are a lot of um, makeup pages on Facebook that have that kind of blog sale style where people can post products that they are selling or looking for so once you do find a blog sale you want to look at the website you want to look at the content you want to look at the pictures okay very very important it tells you a lot when you see the way uh, the website's kind of worded and the pictures like i love a blog site that has everything very professionally done like they have you know they have the pricing of the shipping they have individual prices of every product or they'll they'll tell you they'll bundle things together with discounts and just the more information, the more professional it looks, the more legit it looks to me. Um, also, you want to look at the comments, you know, people talking back and forth with the with the seller or buyers talking amongst each other. You get a feel for like if it's legit or not. You also want to look at reviews. There are people who will leave their reviews slash feedback of that seller. So it's great to check if they actually send your items to you, to check how fast they are at sending your items, do, do, do they make you wait a long time, how fast they respond to your emails, things like that. That will really give you a sense of this is legit or not, okay? So I always tend to look at that if I'm going onto a new blog sale that I'm not familiar with. Oh, I do want to say one thing that I usually don't buy or I'm very careful is Mac products, okay? Mac products, there are so many fake products like it's insane the naked palettes from urban decay there are also tons of fake ones the chocolate bar palette from too faced there are tons of fake ones the low rock palettes there are a lot of fake ones so you really want to be careful with those name brands because there are a lot of fake products when it comes to those name brands i'm going to leave down in the description box my favorite blog sale sites because i have a couple that i, I always go to i'm familiar with them i've been on them a long long time i've sold stuff on there i've bought stuff from there so i'm giving you my okay to go on those sites and those are websites as well as people's blog sites and some pages off of facebook that are amazing okay another tip that I want to give you guys is to bargain okay do not be afraid to bargain girl even if you could get five dollars off that's five dollars so I always try to ask for you know five to ten dollars off the asking price and if it's a yes hey if it's a no then whatever if I still want to buy it I will go ahead and buy it but don't be afraid to bargain and bring that price a little bit lower than what the person is asking for because at the end of the day if you're on a blog sale it's because we want to save some money so feel free to request that um, don't forget to always ask for shipping costs because they vary depending on where you live out here in Canada the shipping is always ridiculous and it's very very annoying some people don't even ship to Canada because of the shipping cost and so you always want to ask um, what are the shipping fees normally to Canada I pay somewhere between five to ten dollars which you know is annoying to me but if i'm getting the product like 40 percent off retail price i don't mind because at the end of the day i'm still paying cheaper and i'm not paying tax on that product the way blog sales work in terms of payment is normally through paypal and that is the safest way to go e-money transfer western union that kind of stuff i would not recommend i would go through paypal create a paypal account it's the easiest thing to do um have your credit card or your bank account linked to your paypal that way you're not giving out all your information to a bunch of strangers it's all through paypal and paypal is amazing as with their customer service if someone doesn't send you your item and you've already paid for it they will refund your money and then target that person that did that okay they'll probably close their account or something like that but they are really great when it comes to customer service they will not just let you down and that's what I do that's the only way I, I 
buy off of block sales if someone tells me oh you can e-transfer me you can send me money hell to the no because you have no way of proving what exactly you're paying for why you're sending this money and there's no one else that's going to intervene if you have been scammed or lost your money so i always 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 go through paypal and PayPal is very easy to use. When you want to buy something off of a blog sale, the person will ask you for the email that's linked to your PayPal. They will send an invoice to that email that's linked to PayPal. PayPal will notify you. You make the payment, the person gets the money, boom, they should ship your product within a day or two normally. Some people ship it the same day. So it's very, very fast, um, the interaction that you have through PayPal with that person. The money goes through pretty much straight away and it's very easy to use. So again, I recommend PayPal only. Do not, do not, do not send money to a stranger or give your credit card information. Never, never, ever, ever do that. So I just want to show you guys the first item that I've ever, ever purchased off of a blog site and it was the Anastasia contour kit. When they first came out, they were sold out so fast here in Canada and on her website it was sold out and luckily I found a girl on Instagram that has her own page and she um, sells new products. When I got this, it was brand new, okay? And I picked it up at retail price because they were just very new. But the thing is, they were all sold out. So I was able to get my hands on this contour palette and I was so happy. And my recent purchase from a blog sale was this brush right here. This is the Tarte, um, I don't know, foundation brush, flawless foundation brush that I had my eye on for the longest time, but I really didn't want to pay 40 something dollars, almost $50 for this brush. That's how much it retails here in Canada. So I found this on a blog site for $22. Okay. And I love, love, love this brush. I've been using it nonstop. When I got it, it was clean. It was very soft. It smelled great, but I also did wash it myself with my own products and it's amazing like it's in perfect conditions nothing at all wrong with it and I am loving it and I got it for more than half the price so yeah blog sales I love it I hope you guys enjoyed this video if it did please give it a big thumbs up don't forget to leave me your comment down below if you have a favorite blog site website page Facebook page let us know in the comment section and your experiences with blog sites I know some of them are a little bit negative. I'm not gonna lie, but um, you learn from that um, And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you have a blog site going on Let us know in the comment section too. I mean we will check it out for sure and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video again. I will see you on the next one. Ciao